Hi and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be looking at practicing naming and drawing branch chain alkenes. Let's have a look at an example first. Here we have a branch chain alkene. The first step to name this is to find the longest chain which contains the double bond. In this example, the longest chain has six carbons. This would be hexene. We then number the chain from the end closest to the double bond. In this case, this is also closest to the branches. You then insert the number of where the double bond starts in between the hex and the ene to give you hex 3ene. You then need to identify the branches. These are added to the name at the start in alphabetical order. If there are multiple of the same branches as there are here, then the prefixes di or tri are used. In this case, we have two methyl branches, both on carbon 2. So the full name is 2,2-dimethyl-hex-3-ene. Pause the video now and try to name these examples. Let's look at an example of drawing shortened structural formula. When we draw a shortened structural formula, we are taking out the bonds. The first thing we need to do is to split the molecule up into the different sections based on the main carbon chain. You can see that I'm doing this by highlighting them in different colours. Within the first section, which is highlighted in red, we have CH3. Within the second section, we have a carbon with two carbon branches of CH3 attached. These are written in brackets. We then have a CH, which is double bonded to another CH. In the pink section, we have a CH2, and the molecule is complete with a CH3. Pause the video now and draw these examples as shortened structural formula. When drawing branch chain alkenes, it is always best to break the name up into different parts. Start by drawing the longest chain. This is at the end of the name. You can then number the chain from left to right and insert the double bond starting at the carbon number indicated in the name. For this example, we have five carbons for pentene. The double bond starts on the second carbon. So we'll put in the double bond between carbons 2 and 3. On carbon 2 and 4, we also have branches. Each of these branches are methyl branches, so contain one carbon each. You then need to go around and fill in the bonds so that every carbon has four bonds. Take care around the double bonds to make sure that each carbon only has four bonds. Complete these bonds with hydrogen atoms. Pause the video now and draw these examples.
Thank you for watching my video. I hope that you found it helpful. Please remember to subscribe if you haven't already and ring the bell to be notified of new videos. You can also follow me on Twitter at Miss Adams Chem and Instagram Miss Adams Chemistry for updates on new videos and flashcards throughout the year. Bye for now.